Hello friends, in this video we are going to see the special cases of Brett-Schneider theorem. Brett-Schneider theorem is used for calculating area of any quadrilateral, any quadrilateral with side A, B, C, D. Suppose if this is the quadrilateral A, B, C, D and this sides of quadrilateral are A, B, C and D. Then the formula by which we can calculate its area is given by Brett Schneider and it is named as Brett Schneider theorem and this is the formula for calculating the area of quadrilateral which is equal to under root of s minus a into s minus b into s minus c into s minus d minus a into b into c into d into cos square a plus c by 2 here s is the semi parameter of this quadrilateral a b c a b c and d okay now in quadrilateral a b c d a and c are the opposite angle of quadrilateral and we know the property of quadrilateral sum of its all its interior angle is equal to 360 degree okay so if this is equal then a plus c can be equal to 360 minus or b plus c if this is so then cos square of a plus c by 2 it will be equal to cos square of b plus d by 2 okay now we are we are studying the special case of brett schneider theorem that is brahma gupta formula and heron's formula brahma gupta formula brahma gupta gave the formula for calculating area of cyclic quadrilaters what are cyclic quadrilaters Cyclic quadrilaterals are inscribed inside a circle and the property of cyclic quadrilaterals are if this is a circle and if I make a quadrilateral inside this circle and I am naming this it A, B, C and D then by Brahma Gupta formula area of I am writing this as PQRS PQ R S and the side is A B C and D the sides are A B C and D so the area of this quadrilateral P Q R S by Brahma Gupta formula it will be equals to S minus A into S minus B into S minus C into S minus D. Now we know the property of the cyclic quadrilateral. In cyclic quadrilateral, the sum of opposite angles are 180 degree. Sum of opposite angles are 180 degree. Upper, if if we suppose that this is a cyclic quadrilateral, then A plus C would be equals to 180 degree. If this is a cyclic quadrilateral, and if if this so, then A plus C by 2 would be equals to 90 degree and if we, if this is so then cos of a plus c by 2 it will be equals to cos of 90 degree and we know that cos of 90 degree is equals to 0 so clearly this will become equal to 0 if this quadrilateral a b c d is a cyclic quadrilateral so this brett schneider theorem will reduce to brahma gupta formula if the quadrilateral is cyclic brett schneider theorem reduces to brahma gupta formula if
quadrilateral is cyclic so this is how we can go from Bredsen-Winter theorem to Brahmagupta theorem Brahmagupta theorem gives us the power for calculating the area of a cyclic quadrilateral and Bredsen-Winter theorem will give the power for calculating the area of any quadrilateral now I will show you how this formula the same formula can be reduced to the Heron's formula so I am rubbing this and I make you understand how you can reduce it to the Heron's formula Heron's formula is used for calculating the area of triangle by just knowing the measure of its side okay so this was the Brett Schneider theorem for calculating area of quadrilateral so my question to you is that how you can change the quadrilateral to a triangle suppose if this is a quadrilateral a b c d this is a quadrilateral this side is a this side is b this side is c and this side is d and i am telling you that how you can make a quadrilateral from uh, how you can make a triangle from this quadrilateral so one thing that you can make uh, by which you can make this quadrilateral to a triangle is that if you reduces this side to zero if you reduce this d equals to zero then this c and a will coincide if d is equals to zero then this a and c will get coincides and this will look like this this will reduce us to a triangle a b d with this side as a and this side as b and this side as c so what I am doing here, I have put this D equals to 0. If I have done this, then this quadrilateral will reduce to a triangle. So I am just putting the value of D in this equation. So what we will get, I will, this quadrilateral will reduce to the triangle. Okay, so I am directly writing, this will give the area of triangle and it will be equals to, this quantity will become 0 because D is equal to 0. And this S minus D will changes to S. Okay. So here we have S and rest of the things are as it is. S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. So this is how we can obtain Heron's formula by the use of Brett Schneider theorem. Okay, same result you can also obtain from the Brahmagupta formula. Same, same uh, thing you have to done. There also you have to put D equals to 0 in the Brahmagupta formula. Then you will also get the same result for that. That is you will get the Heron's formula from there also. I hope that this video will be helpful for you all. And uh, if you are new on my channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.